What's up, guys? So I'm going to take you guys through the uh, Jason Lambert win on FLW back at Kentucky Lake. This was like a couple days ago. He freaking destroyed everybody by about 30 pounds. My second place, uh, Scott Martin. You probably have heard of him if you follow bass fishing at all. And he destroyed everybody. He did the same thing last year on Kentucky Lake as well, fishing the same baits, basically the same water depth, and um, pretty much the same pattern. This year it's a little bit earlier, so the fish are um, not as full-blown summer pattern as they are. They're still kind of post-spawn. But um, I want to take you guys through where he actually fished because they discussed this in the article that was put out by FLW. Uh, Pisca Bay was one of the areas where he caught a lot of his fish, including the nine-pounder. Um, on Sunday, and I pulled that up. I've fished Pisca Bay before. I know exactly where they're talking about, and I pulled it up on Navionics, which is a topographical map that I'm going to take you through on my computer, and we're going to see where he was fishing. Um, so let me just go ahead and pull my screen up, take my web uh, cam off here, and we'll get rock and rolling. All right, so the uh, nine pounder actually was caught on Saturday. Um, I think I said it was caught on Sunday, but either way, it was Pisca Bay, so they have a point um, protruding from the mouth of Pisca Bay. Um, and let's pull. So if you if you don't know how to um, you know search for these places, just go up to Google Maps, type in Pisca Bay. It's going to bring it up right here in Kentucky Lake, and then you can have a look. You know where it's at. Then you can hop on over to your Navionics app and pull up the topographical map of it. And, you know, it's a lot easier, it's a lot faster, then you don't have to, like, search through each, every single cove and be like, is that Pisca Bay? Is that Pisca Bay? You can go straight to it. So, zoom in. going to have to zoom in on it. And it said a, uh, a point protruding from the mouth of Pisca Bay. And I'm going to show you guys really co a, a cool little trick. Um, and one thing to note is that... It also says that he was catching fish in about 24 feet of water right on the uh, break of the point. And so what I like to do with Navionics is I'll bring, let me just go from the beginning so I can show you how I do this. And I'm just going to eliminate some of the color on here based on the water depth so I can really kind of dial in what I want to look at. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier to analyze. So go down here to menu and then go over to map options. And I'm going to drop this down to 25, so it'll white out everything else that's deeper than 25 feet. Um, and then I'm going to really be able to dial in on that 24-foot range that, um, you know, it was it, it said in the article. So just give it a moment to load. Um, Internet's kind of slow today, I guess, but here's Pisca Bay. Come on, load the whole thing. We pretty much got everything we need now. So a few things going on here with Pisca Bay, and I'll do a video about this um, again in the future, but right now we're going to stick to the game plan. Um, Pisca, Pisca Bay is an awesome bay because it has this creek bed going all the way back. This is a spawning bay, and if you follow this creek bed, let me zoom in one more time. If you follow this creek bed, which is the dotted lines right here, the two dotted lines, it even it says creek bed. Follow this all the way out, it meets the main river channel out here. And so this is going to be a key migratory route for the bass as they, you know, go into their uh, spawn mode, pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn um, areas. And they'll just follow that route all the way back into the bay and follow it back out and get into the uh, main river channel and get on top of these humps out here next to the uh, next to the river channel where they're, where they're all, you know, feed on bait fish and everything that, that has the current bringing it through. Um, so the main point protruding is going to be probably this one. It's, it's at the mouth of Pisca Bay. It's right here. You see the contour lines really bunch up here on the corner. This is going to be one of the breaks. You got a break right here, right here. Um, and then you also have this cut through right here as well. And you see the, I'm going to zoom in one more time. Um, and also you can see how it, once I moved the safety depth here, it um, eliminated a bunch of the, the blue. Um, and it makes it a lot easier to see. And so we have another awesome point right here. And you see where this creek bed, it actually bends around it, it winds through there. It breaks off in two areas right here. One goes here and one goes there. Um, so this is just an awesome point right here. I mean, you could probably just idle all the way through here, back and forth, idling around, and you're going to find some fish 
they might be up here on top. You definitely don't want to idle over them, but um, man, this is just like a textbook area to find fish, find bass in those transition um, patterns, you know, when they're going from spawn to post spawn all the way out on the ledges, um, which is a key pattern on Kentucky Lake um, and Lake Barkley as well. And so if he didn't catch him on this point right here, then he definitely caught him on this one or somewhere through here. I'm guessing he probably did on this one because you had the, the creek channel that um, winds around there, bends, and he even had his hump out here as well that would probably hold some staging bass. Then the creek comes all the way through here, and I hope you can see my cursor on the screen, and then it um, empties out in the main river channel. So, yeah, just, just a textbook uh, little operation right here, um, you know, this is gonna. Th these points are gonna hold bass probably all summer long, um, all year long for that matter. You know, so definitely if you're on Kentucky Lake, you're gonna want to check this place out. Um, now it says um, on another spot he had a south facing point on a main lake ridge just north of the U.S. Highway 68 bridge. I also pulled that up. Um, that's the bridge that goes that cuts right through the middle of Kentucky Lake right here, um, and we can pull that up on the map as well. So let's zoom out. It's going to be down here. Here it is. So we'll zoom back in. Zoom out just a tad. And it's at a south facing point on the main lake ridge um, north of the bridge. So here, here's the bridge here. Um, it didn't um, go in, you know, specifically, was it a underwater point um, you know that was offshore or was it like a main lake point that was um, you know at the mouth of the creek it didn't really specify but it was definitely south facing so I, I'm looking at two right now that probably uh, you know have a good likelihood that it was one of these two spots because again you got to keep in mind that these fish are post spawn and they want to get out on those ledges you know they want to get out where the bait fish are and, the, and when, when the current's kicking up and get out of their uh, their spawn pattern so we got one point right here that's south facing and then we also got another one right here and both of these are just north of the uh, 68 bridge and they're they're both good spots I mean they're both gonna hold fish so if you zoom in here this point right here, um, it also has two creek beds. You see where this creek bed breaks off, goes out here, and this one goes back into the spawning area. So, I mean, this is a great spot here, and then you also have this hump. You know, you can see where it says six feet deep, and that drops into 18, which drops into 20. Um, it's a lot steeper on this side. But anyways, this is a great, um, a great spot right here as well. And then if we scroll up here, I mean, this is another great spot. You have the creek bed coming in here all the way back to the spawning area. Vickers Creek is what this is. And I mean, you got a few, you got a few points here, you know, to, to map out. And you know, the fish could have been anywhere along this uh, point right here. You know, you just got to idle through um, or even over here, but it says south facing. So, you know, I'm over here on this side. Um, so, anyways, my guess that second spot is going to be one of these two two places, one of these two places. But you know, you never know. You never really know if these guys give you, you know, exactly where they caught the fish. Um, but to be honest, on Kentucky Lake, man, there are so many, so many spots where you can find big schools of bass. It's just insane. One of the best fisheries in uh, the U.S. of A. That's for sure. And I also read in the in the article, he did actually go all the way south beyond Paris Landing, which is another just gold mine full of different ledges. Um, so anyways, you are lucky if you get to go fish Kentucky Lake anytime soon. I'm going to be getting over there uh, in about a few weeks now. Um, so we'll definitely be you know fishing these offshore ledges the whole time. And I'll do a video about that as well. And, uh, I'll, I'll bring my GoPro with me. Um, next actually this coming Wednesday I'm going to Old Hickory Lake and I'll do a video about that but anyway I just want to wrap this up about um, Jason Lambert he is just a phenomenal fisherman he kills it every time he goes to Kentucky Lake and so you know whenever they write an article about this and they give a few little clues about where he was fishing it's good to just look it up and you know 
try and find what you see. You know, why were the fish hanging out there? Um, you know, the main things that I see is it, it just, it, I mean, it's just, like I said before, just like a textbook key area for transitional bass. You got this creek bed emptying out into the main river channel, which is right here. Um, let me just increase this so you can see better what I'm talking about. Let's give it a second to load. There we go. And so you got the main river channel right here. You see this creek breaking off from it and goes all the way back into the spawning bay. And you got a few awesome points along the way. And these are the places that the that those bass are going to stage, you know. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, and I hope you got some good value out of this video. Um, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.